Cecil Richards has stepped down as president of Planned Parenthood, and she's picked a brilliant replacement, Dr. Lena Wen. Learn more about the 35-year-old doctor, here. Dr. Lena Wen, 35, is taking the reins from Cecil Richards and leading Planned Parenthood into a new era. The emergency room doctor and public health official has a long history of fighting for reproductive rights, and she'll continue to do so as Planned Parenthood faces opposition from anti-choice politicians like never before. Here's what you should know about the incredible Dr. Wen, who starts at Planned Parenthood in November 1. She became the Baltimore Health Commissioner in 2015. As Health Commissioner, Dr. Wen has been vocal about reproductive rights, especially in 2017, when the Trump administration cut some federal funding for teen pregnancy prevention education. Wen was understandably livid, as the teen pregnancy rate fell 61% in Baltimore from 2000 to 2016, she said in an April 2018 statement. 2. She's a former patient of Planned Parenthood. Dr. Wen said that she relied on Planned Parenthood for health care while growing up, as did her sister and their mother. When she was in medical school at Washington University School of Medicine she volunteered at a local PP chapter. She said in a statement, as a patient, I depended on Planned Parenthood for medical care at various times in my own life, and as a public health leader, I have seen firsthand the life-saving work it does for our most vulnerable communities. As a doctor, I will ensure we continue to provide high-quality health care, including the full range of reproductive care, and will fight with everything I have to protect the access of millions of patients who rely on Planned Parenthood. 3. She's an emergency room doctor. When graduated from Cal State Los Angeles, when she was only 18 years old, the highly intelligent doctor earned her medical degree from Washington University School of Medicine and a master's degree from the University of Oxford. She completed a residency at Brigham and Women's Hospital in Massachusetts General Hospital and was a clinical fellow at Harvard Medical School. As if that weren't impressive enough, she took a year off after being elected.